right, so another late night, or I'd rather say early morning. Early morning. Time is 17 past 3. And uh, we're starting part number 7. Quick look at the map. Chapter 2. Uh, the talisman has shown that the gate will open in the dining room. All right, we are here. We are in the drawing room, dining room over there. Uh, out, straight, okay. To the right. And finally, Shati is home. Where is this? Ah, oh, there's no map. Let me just have a look at... Just in case I did a miss. What about the bird cage? Kinda creepy because the willow tree talks. I'd rather say whispers. All right, let's go back. Can I go this way? I guess not. Oh yeah, Shati was here. Yeah, this wasn't closed before. What's this? Oh my goodness, what is this? Unfortunate. <clears throat> Getting stuck in the door. I want to try the shotgun. a trophy for uh, killing an enemy or monster with a shotgun. Now I need to uh, tell me shotgun. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, 
told me that I'm, I'm sure there will be a boss fight somewhere. Ah, there's a Molotov as well. So creepy. Oh. And unexpected. All right. Dining room. to chapter 3. I'm glad to see you made it. I had my doubts, but the hope you instilled has yet abandoned. I guess this must be Tarawea. Who are you? My name is Juan Luis Jorge, and this is indeed the convent of Tarawea. You'll have to excuse me, but Yermi never got your name. The name's Edward Carnby. I'm a private investigator. You're not a patient, are you? No. I'm the author of a book that Yermi once found important. How does that work? Are you part of this memory as well? Is this even a memory? I think calling me a manifestation of Yermi's subconscious would be more correct. And so is the convent of Tarawea. I'm a man Yermi has never met. And we are in a place that he has never been. Okay. So are you here to guide me or something? I have no more purpose than you do. I simply am. I will happily help you, of course, if I'm able. If you are already somehow part of Jeremy, why did he want to come here? Isn't he sort of here already? Jeremy wanted to come here because it's a representation of his mind at peace. When Dr. Gray asks him to find his focus during his sessions, this far-flung convent is what Jeremy imagines. He is under the impression that if he could physically come here, he would reach a perfect equanimity, a spiritual apotheosis. You don't think it would work? Jeremy subconsciously knows it's just wishful thinking. He can't come here. Despite the pathways opened by the dark man between their Seto and Jeremy's psyche, it's simply not possible. But I'm here. <laughs> Indeed. It's a shame it's just another place for you, detective. Otherwise, you could have become a Buddha. Always a bridesmaid, never a blushing bride. Am I right? <laughs> I, yes, I suppose so. You'll have to chase enlightenment elsewhere. So what's the next best thing? What can I do here? You should seek out the convent library and try to find the truth about Yermi's relationship with the Dark Man. 
It's the sort of knowledge he represses and is unable to reflect on. Will it tell me how to break the pact? Perhaps. At least you'll have something to confront Yermi with. Wait, why can't you just tell me? I don't know such things. You'd be better off consulting the text of Dr. Freud, if you want such answers. <laughs> no thanks, I hate shrinks. There is another thing you should know about the library. He is here as well. The dark man has been working his way through the text for a long, long time. He's here? How am I supposed to get past him? Be careful, detective. Oh, jeez. Just perfect. Oh, boy. Who, who is the dark man? Somewhere else entirely. I think that's the trophy for, uh, Reach Tarweya. You have any advice on how to deal with the dark man? Mm. I suppose suppression could work. Try not to pay him any attention. Not to pay him any attention. I know you said Jeremy's never been here, but does this place exist in real life? I think it's supposed to be Mexico. But I am not certain of that away as origin. Well, good to meet you, Juan. I'm going in. May the gods be with you, Edward de Vilban. My goodness, I just realized you have to talk to them as much as you can, or as much as you are allowed, like this. And I miss that one out with the little blonde lady. Great. That means I will have to do three playthroughs, maybe. Creepy places. <laughs> There's something missing. Oh, great. Hollow cross. Okay. Need to find a cross. Is there a map? Can't be felt confused by the pleasant nature of Terawea. It was somehow uncomfortable to him. Juan, the sweater-wearing Buddha, wasn't helping either. According to Conby, people just weren't meant to be this nice and genuine. 
Best to hurry off to the library, he thought, and see if he could find information about Jeremy's relationship with the dog man. Yeah, no map. <clears throat> Maybe that was a that statue of Darkman. library it was endless beautiful and terrible an akashic record for the universe inside the mind of jeremy hartwood now corrupted by a story forced upon him told by a maniacal liar an evil conjured by science and secrecy i will suspend a room and lock away the foundation of his character. Its key will be left to the librarian, the only thing invisible to the Prowler. My goodness, I just noticed after all these years that the word evil, when you read it uh, backwards, is life. The dark, dark man will be chasing me here. Let me quickly have a look here. It's another one of those things. Mask evil. Okay, that's a collectible. Mask evil, mummy fight card, and gives a statue. Come on, man. That's what she said.
Jesus, that was noisy. Hey, here's the song. I don't know. Alchemist or some dark magic. where I'm supposed to go. something it was in the hot autumn that I went through the night with the restless crowds he was a kind of itinerant showman who held forth in public halls <clears throat> and aroused widespread fear the New Orleans address of the event is lost, but I remember distinctly the Prext shipping company pressing their contribution. No, 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 no. <laughs> Detective! What? What? I hope you found what you were looking for. I fear there is no hope. I was so close. There must be something I can work with. Come on, Garmy, think. Think! You're here, detective. Sitting all alone in a place like this. I'd never live it down if the papers got wind of it. Hey. Ruth, right? Oh, don't pretend you don't know. I'm sure you have a whole file on me by now, detective. I suppose we weren't formally introduced. I'm Ruth Talon. Miss Ruth Talon, in case you're wondering. Edward Carnby. Enchanté. Are you sure? I had too many already. Nice. It's good. I know. I have great taste, detective. I heard you're trying to break Jeremy's promise to the dark man. Yeah. Do you know anything about that kind of stuff? No. But it makes you wonder, if he made a promise, can't he simply stand by his words? Look, I'm just trying to get Jeremy out of a bad deal, so he'll come back with us to New Orleans. Well, if all fails... What are you doing? <laughs> It's a sign of submission to the Dark Man. I saw it in a dream once. What? You don't know the Prext Shipping Company by any chance? 
I do. They made big money during the war. But their waterfront office is just over there. How did you do that? Do what, detective? <laughs> Bonne chance. Hey, have you seen Emily Hartwood anywhere? Are you trying to make me jealous, detective? <laughs> no, I haven't seen your doll anywhere. Drop me off in New Orleans. I checked that out before. Yeah, that's a uh, evade or something like that. Evade the dark man. Uh... Prexed Shipping Company. According to the book in Tarawea, the dark man is connected to a performance that Jeremy went to somewhere in New Orleans. I'm sure I can find the address Lord. inside. There will be enemies. As I can see Molotov. Oh, yeah. So that means get ready for next time. There's another one. Oh, that's a big one. the door which will be probably locked and I will have to go through him you know the games it's locked from the other side mm -hmm. when you play some there we go Rose, you could help me blow its eyes Got quite a few. Can I actually leave? I don't know where to go. Probably not. Not here. Yeah. Let's do this. Why was I dead straight away? Come on, man. Come on, man. It's locked from the other side. Come on, man. Come here.
The weak ass son of a bitch. I don't understand why he killed me. side. Man, fine. Wait a minute before I go. I'm not getting these. I mean, I'm happy I'm getting shot in shots. Steve Dorsky. Okay, what's the objective? Somehow, Combe was back in New Orleans, close to the docks. He could smell the pungent aroma of the Mississippi River. In front of him was the Prext Shipping Company. According to the book in the library, he should find the address to where Jeremy first met the dark man inside.
Molotov. No way I can get this out of the way with my bare hands. But if I get that crane going, uh -huh. that should so that do means it. I will have to go there. Oh, we did it. Last for that. Surprise, surprise. Burn, motherfuckers, burn. Oh no. Oh no. Go there, let me just have a look. Okay, I was there. Look where I came from, yeah, I was everywhere. Go, Mr. Karambi. Oh no, sewers. Why it's the worst. Okay guys, we gotta finish the video here. <laughs> I'm not doing this now. It's too late. Or too early. Guys, thank you very much. Please consider subscribing, leave a like, or just comment. Let me know if you're playing it, if you wanna play it. Whatever. Thank you. Bye-bye.